Hello everyone. Let's see how my genetic algorithm for solving one max problem works. This genetic algorithm is coded in MATLAB, and it is possible to customize and modify this code with minimum change to solve various optimization problems in your fields. No need to build this kind of MATLAB code of genetic algorithm from scratch because it's very time consuming. Updating, customizing, and or modifying this genetic algorithm to solve new optimization problems in your fields should be used. This video is made to respond to a request by one of our viewers, as shown in an email below. By the way, if you have any suggestions, please let me know by leaving a comment or sending me an email. I really appreciate that. Here is a description of one max problem. One max problem is a simple optimization problem in which we need to find the binary string of a given length that maximizes the sum of its digits. Please see how we calculate the objective function of the one max problem with a size of 5 in this example. It should be noted that the complexity of one max problem depends on the size of the problem, which means that the larger size of the problem, more difficult to find the optimal solution. Based on my research, in terms of the number of journal articles, genetic algorithm is the most popular stochastic optimization algorithm in all 18 different research fields, as indicated in this table. Do you believe that? For more details, please have a look at the reference attached. Here is a general structure of a genetic algorithm. Genetic algorithm is a popular metaheuristic or stochastic optimization algorithm based on the mechanisms of natural selection in Charles Darwin's theory of natural evolution. Genetic algorithm was first introduced by Holland in 1975, and now it is still very popular in various research community. Genetic algorithm starts with an initial set of random solutions, which is called population. Each individual in the population is called a chromosome, representing a solution to the problem at hand. The chromosomes evolve through successive iterations, called generations. During each generation, the chromosomes are evaluated using some measures of fitness. To create the next generation, new chromosome, called offspring, are formed by either a. merging two chromosomes from current generation using a crossover operator, or b. modifying a chromosome using a mutation operator. A new generation is formed by a. selecting, according to the fitness values, some of the parents and offspring, and b. rejecting others so as to keep the population size constant. Fitter chromosomes have higher probabilities of being selected. After several generations, the algorithms converge to the best chromosome, which hopefully represents the optimal or suboptimal solution to the problem. Chromosome representing a potential solution to one max problem is very simple, it is just a binary string. Here is one example with a size of 20. Here is a main program of my genetic algorithm in MATLAB. Let's see how it works.